So, hey guys! I know this is a different awkward angle or view for you guys when I normally film videos, but I thought I would show you the makeup and stuff that I bought um, with me to Florida on my vacation. Um, so, let's get started. So, we're going to start off here. This is my main case of stuff that has um, the majority of my makeup in it. This is uh, my little case that has my brushes in it and then I just have two pieces that I took out of here because this was kind of getting full and I stuck it in my toiletry bag. Um, so we'll start with the two products that are out. I brought for a blush, I just brought my Rockateur um, Benefit blush with me. I love this stuff. I use it pretty much every day. Probably going to repurchase it when I run out. I have Two, I have one eyebrow pencil here. This is Revlon's Brow Fantasy in light brown. Pencil's getting to the nubs, but I still like to use the gel for setting my eyebrows, although I really haven't filled in my eyebrows very much. So we'll start with the little one here. This is the little case. I'm going to see if I can do this one-handed. This little uh, flower case I actually got from Walmart. It's from Modella, and I think it was like two or three bucks. I wanted to get a small makeup bag for my purse, so when I go home, this will get switched over to that. Um, let's see. I have my Real Techniques powder brush in here, which I love. Oh, I have two lip glosses in here. We'll go over those in a second. Um, I've got one of my EcoTools dual ended brushes. It's got a fluffy end and a uh, angled brush tip. I've got my Real Techniques blush brush. I've got another EcoTools shader brush. I've got a Real Techniques face brush. I have my other EcoTools dual ended brush. It has a crease brush and a smudgy end. And then I have my fluffy crease brush dual ended brush that I got on clearance from Walgreens like many, 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 many moons ago. Um, this I love for blending out um, like brow colors and, or highlight colors and stuff like that. And then last, I have my stippling brush from Real Techniques, which is kind of smushed. That's right, when I get home, I'm gonna re deep clean these. I deep cleaned them before we left. You might have seen that picture on Instagram. And um, I don't know, they came out really good. And then the last thing I have in here, which I actually haven't used very much, I'm surprised I haven't used, is my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I haven't been using this very much. I think I keep forgetting that I have it, but I'm definitely gonna try to use it tomorrow before I leave, so I'm not going to put on a lot of makeup, but I do want my skin to look semi-decent for flying. So we'll start with the second bag, but I'll show you these two. These are two products that I picked up while here in Florida. I finally got my hands on two of the NYX, I don't know if you guys can try and focus, 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 there we go, nope, um, let's see if I can focus. We have two um, NYX Butter Glosses that I picked up from Target the other day. We have these at my Target, but I don't get access to that Target very often, so I figured, well, while I'm in Florida, I might as well pick them up. I got, I'm trying to read the colors here, Merengue, or no, not Merengue, Meringue. <laughs> um, and this one is Vanilla Cream Pie, which I both love. One is like a peachier pink, and the other one is like a rosier pink. Love them very, very much. So now we have the big bag here of makeup. And first things first, right on top, is I have my Maybelline, Mag Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara, which I'm actually going to have to throw out when I get back, because it's actually hitting its three-month mark this week. And so I'm going to have to pick up a new mascara. Probably going to go for the Miss Manga Mascara or the L'Oreal Butterfly Intense, I think. I'm going to try that one. I have the foundation I've been using, which is the uh, Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour uh, Foundation in Soft Beige. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. Like I said, the lighting here in where I'm staying is not the best right now, um, so it's kind of hard to see if this foundation really works for me. Um, but it does have a high like fragrance to it. I'm not a huge fan of the, the smell. Um, but when I get back to New York and I'm under my lighting that I can see 
for my skin. I'll see how this works, but I think it's it's a good skin tone match. I know that, um, but coverage and stuff like that, it doesn't really last very well in the hot, humid weather here in Florida, though. Then I have a single eyeshadow that I brought with me, uh, one of my Milani Bella eyes. This is Bella Bella Sand, and looks something like looks something like that. It's just a pretty like golden beige color. It's really nice if you just want to do a neutral eye. I thought it'd be good to have. And then I have my Urban Decay um, primer potion samples that I got when I purchased my Naked 3 palette. I thought I haven't really used them very much, so I'd bring them here. It's easier than trying to bring a full-size primer. Um, and they've been working out really, really well. I think the only one left that I have working that I haven't opened yet is Sin, so we'll try that when I get home. Anyway, so next in here, I have two little, like, this is actually, I should say, this bag also came from Walmart. But it's actually a jewelry holder, but it's really a great like standard makeup case. It's very structured and it fits things well. Um, so I have two little holders that are actually supposed to be like ring holders, but they just hold uh, eyeliner and concealer and stuff really well. So I have um, <clears throat> my Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Gotta always have that stuff. I have my Maybelline um, Dream Lumi Touch uh, Highlighting Concealer because, you know, sometimes you don't look so bright in the mornings. Then I have my favorite concealer, which is the Revlon Age Defying uh, with DNA Advantage Concealer in light medium. Love this stuff very, very much. I'm sad that they don't, they make it, but I don't think they make it like this anymore. So my next option is to try the Revlon Color Stay Concealer when I'm done with this one. And then lastly, I have um, a... Rimmel Scandalized Black Eyeliner, so I could tight line and do my waterline, which I've used a bit this week. I also have my L'Oreal Silk Is Me um, Rose Gold um, Rose Gold uh, Eyeliner. And then lastly, which somehow fell down in here, it's not fair. I had another brow pencil. This is my Jessie's Girl, no, um, Jordan. Jordana Fabi Brow um, Eyebrow uh, Stick and Taupe and this has been helping me a lot and that's that and what else is new? There's only two more things. I just have my face powder which is the Revlon Nearly Naked which you can't see anymore because it's all rubbed off and I'm going to be needing a new one soon because I hit pan but it's the Revlon Nearly Naked powder and then for eyeshadows I brought my Naked 3 palette with me. Very, very happy to have this with me. If I can open it. I mean, you guys already know what this looks like. My Buzz eyeshadow, though, the glue came off and it wants to come out of its seat, so I'm going to have to like do something with that. Although it's, the shadow didn't break, which I'm happy about, but like the pan doesn't want to sit in there anymore. Um, but that's okay. As long as the shadow didn't break, I gotta be a little bit more careful with it. I might have dropped my makeup bag a little too hard on uh, this trip, but I won't won't go into that now. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.